But why is photography important? Have you got any ideas? Firstly, it's a good business model, right? <laughs> uh, no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Yeah, but that, that stuff doesn't matter, does it? What the fuck are you laughing at? Why, why are you laughing at that? <laughs> Shut up. So you can make lots and lots of money, you can work with tons of different clients worldwide and make as much money it's as possible. It's about the process. It's about the process. The pro, it's about passion. And if you enjoy doing it, that's the most important thing. You take up your camera, you take it outside, and you go and take the photos that you want. You might not be very good at it at the start, but you're never good at anything when you first start. It's about the process and go out and enjoy. Don't worry about settings, just learn as you go. And anyone that wants to tell you you're wrong by doing things in a certain way, they're wrong. So obviously with that in mind, I'm just walking up this way towards Soho um, and there's two guys kind of doing a sign up here, which is quite a cool shot. I'm just gonna wait for this traffic kind of to move through. There's also a nice kind of bit of lighting down there where we could potentially put a subject. Um, I've currently got the 14 24 mil on. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the traffic to start moving. I'm probably gonna shoot this at at 14 mil, I think. They've kind of got two ladders on top of a <laughs> on top of a van, which looks so precarious. Um, we're gonna tap the focus on the uh, on the guys up there. And we'll take it, we'll take that. I mean, it's a nice simple start to getting going. Towards Soho, this light is honestly fucking sick. Like it looks amazing. The lighting today is so nice. Um, I'm gonna be using the 1424 mostly today to get kind of those wide shots, but I might use, I've got the 85, I've got the 24 to 70, but well, my 24 to 70 is also, uh, also broke at the moment, so. Um, let me get this shot here. Let's have a look. Change up some of the settings. Mm, 24mm. Tap to focus back of the uh, back of the bus. Uh, 400th of a second F4 ISO 50. Going to change the drive mode as well down to uh, single shot. Don't need to be taking a thousand photos at once. But I quite like the light coming in there and then having the uh, the person in the top of the bus. It's a nice little. Uh, start a shot i'm gonna try and play around with some of these shadows and lights today as well because well why the fuck not <laughs> i can't wait to go back out and do some night stuff soon i haven't done any night photography in a while um it's quite cool to get out and do some soon hmm uh fuck it we'll go down this way towards chinatown and then i'm gonna like loop back around go up into soho area maybe tottenham court that area let's go on this way Okay, so the shot that I'm gonna go for here is you've got this puddle just here where you can get a reflection of the archway. Now, there's a lot of crap in there as well. I'm just gonna flip my screen so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, 400th of a second, F2.8, ISO 50. Uh, I reckon about there would be nice. Now, ideally I'd kind of scoop all that out, but it's fucking grim. Maybe I'll go manual focus and I'm gonna focus through, I'm gonna go ahead and focus through the reflection onto the archway. Uh, let's go like that. Please don't run me over. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, I'm going to try and move some of this shit because it's really annoying because it's directly in the center of the frame. Like that's the downside to doing photography is like you have to do fucking shit like this to clean up after other people to be able to make your photos look good and you look like a fucking twat doing it. Nice. So just by doing that I've cleaned up the frame without having to do it in post-production which obviously saves time and you get like a more true cleaner shot. Uh, but if people weren't just such like messy twats like it'd be so much easier. <laughs> So if you're one of those people that litters, stop fucking doing it, because it's annoying. I mean, plus it's bad for the environment, but on top of that, it's fucking annoying. Uh, we're at 14 mil, 400 of a second, F2.8 ISO 50. Gonna wait for someone to walk through the frame. Bish, Anna Bosch, Anna, thank you very much, done. Take that. So I pulled the focus onto the archway itself, because I wanted the, focus to be through the puddle itself. Uh, personal preference, don't like it, don't care. It's my personal preference, that's what I wanted to do. And that kind of 
trickles into the point I was making earlier is that this is our thing, right? And we do it how the fuck we want to do it. And you don't really have to listen to all the purest people out there. And if they, if they don't like what you do, then fuck them, you know? If you guys don't like what I'm doing, then fuck it, I don't care. I enjoy the content that I create and that's the most important thing. Look at this lighting down here. Just sick. Nice rolls. I think it kind of, the rolls looks kind of nice with the, with the lantern. So we'll get that, I think, actually. The car's facing kind of the wrong way for me. It'd be nice if the car was facing like the other way with the, the front grille and the lanterns above it. But maybe it'll work this way. Kind of does work, but not so much. I think if I come up a little bit, get a bit of like elevation, we could probably get a better shot. To be honest, the thing that I like about it is, is the, the reflection of the lanterns. Like, black cars are firstly terrible to shoot, like they're fucking difficult to shoot. Second of all, rolls is like, they kind of like, I mean, look at it, it's fucking huge. But look at it, I mean, it's so over the top, but the interior is nice, I'll give it that. The red interior is good. Now, I would be tempted to swap over to the 85 to get some, maybe portrait shots of people, but I'm going to stick with the wide for now. I'm enjoying the wide, so we'll keep it on for now. Now, obviously, this is sick. This, we've, got, we've got some shots here, surely. Some nice typical street shots in landscape. You know how it is. The wide, I mean, that's as bog standard and as boring as it gets, I guess. One person in the frame. Yeah, I mean, that'll do. Don't want to overdo it. And it is what it says it is on the tin. Some lanterns, shadows, sunlight, sickness, done. Uh, let's go down towards, we'll go this way, go right. Nah, fuck it, we don't, I've done enough in Chinatown. We'll go down this way um, and then kind of go back on ourselves towards, maybe up towards like Tottenham Court Road. Um, I kind of always end up going down towards Covent Garden, but I don't really want to do that today. So we'll go up towards Tottenham Court Road and I don't know, go from there. Shot here, I'm sure there's something here. I'm just kind of working out how I can make it kind of work. This is quite a cool shot. I think I'll have to come to the right hand side. We'll go 24 mil, punch it in. We'll go F2.8, 500th of a second. Use kind of the shadows on the floor. Maybe dude running through the frame. We're gonna run there, look. But we'll take that. It's kind of a cool street shot. Dude kind of just chilling in the shop. But the original shot I was looking at here is like, because of all the scaffolding, it's giving these like shadows and shit on people's faces and kind of looks cool. So if I go over to the left hand side, so I'm hidden by the shadows and then maybe 24 mil, still 500 of a second, F2.8, ISO 50. Uh, I want a bit of a less busy frame. It's quite busy. Mm, I don't know. You get, you see what I mean though, right? Like just the shadows and kind of cool but I feel like I need to be like raised a little bit. What about facing the sun? Actually maybe facing the sun would be the one. 24 mil, 500 to the second, f2.8, I say 50. Yeah we'll take that, I mean it's you know, the idea is there. I don't know, the idea is there but it's not, it's not, but it is. Yeah, you get what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna go 400 for a second, 24 mil. Just wait for some people to walk out of this uh, this kind of road down there. Looks quite cool. Wait for the van to go past. And we'll come slightly to the left. That's probably better framing actually. Landscape. 400 for a second, F2.8, ISO 50. Oh, that's nice, nice little street shot that. Okay, so I'm at 640th of a second, F4, ISO 50. Kind of like this light here, you've got shadow on the right, shadow on the left, and then you've got this like, kind of strip of light going through the middle. So I'm gonna wait for that bus over there to go through the frame. Hopefully, fingers crossed, at the same time, I'll get some people in front of me. We'll get bus background, people foreground, light everywhere. So another reason why I like that photo is like on the right hand side as well, you've got like, you've got that kind of depthy leading line almost um, going down the street. I might swap blends soon, but I'm enjoying this wide. Definitely a wide that you should get behind is the Sigma 14 to 24 F2.8. 
I mean, I've got absolutely no issues with it, never had an issue with it. It looks a bit fisheye, but it, you don't really get too much of a bad distortion on the wider image. Uh, but overall, great lens. So even though obviously it's like the middle of the day, um, under this tunnel it's quite dark, so you've got this kind of nice silhouette shot here where you're kind of looking through this bus stop. We'll do one in portrait too. Kind of come over a little bit. There you are. Um, and I don't want to focus too much on the bus stop. I actually want to focus on the people walking through. So we're at 24 mil, 160th of a second, f2.8 ISO 50. And I quite like those. I mean, they'll work, they do. We'll take it. Quite like the landscape shot too, the one on the screen really, really does pop. Like I like that a lot. Like this in the frame. It's kind of a nice, I mean, I don't know. It's definitely not my favorite shot that I've taken or going to take today, but it's a shot. And it was shot at 800th of a second, f4. ISO 50. I'd say the light here is probably a bit too harsh. That's why I don't really like that shot, to be honest. It'll do, but it's a bit shit. Okay, so there's a cool little reflection shot here. So when somebody's walking through the street down the bottom, you can get this like triple reflection because you've got one of the side, but then you've also got, obviously got like the center point as well. So we'll go 24 mil, hunter for second, wait for the dude to get down the end. So just coming up on Seven Dials, uh, if you've never been to Seven Dials, then pop that into your Google Maps if you're here in London and come and have a look. Um, seven Dials because it's got basically seven different streets. Um, it's a cool little, uh, it's a cool little street, cool little area. Um, we'll get one wide, we'll go maybe 14 mil. We're at F4, 500 of a second. ISO 150, actually we'll go 24 mil. Dude sitting on the end, it's quite cool. Let me come around slightly. Maybe get this. Get some depth in there with the person walking through the frame. I don't know. It looks all right. The standard that people set for photographers is like they look at someone like, I don't know, God, I'm trying to think, someone like Chris Beercard or Aaron Brimhall, who is, you know, both of them within their own sectors are fucking sick photographers. And I would say, you know, in some ways they're kind of like the, the pinnacle of, of the content that they create and I think that's what's important to remember is it's their creation, it's their content and a lot of people try to try to either match that or try to um, mimic or copy that and that's not what you know it's about, it's about going out and trying to find like your own little style and your own little thing. So shot here, I'm going to use this as like foreground, maybe someone walking through the frame here We'll go 24 mil. Yeah, 24 for sure. You've got these nice patterns on the floor from uh, stuff that's reflecting off the, the top. And I just think it'd be nice. Just one person walking through the frame. Just gotta wait for that one person. Now, dude in black jacket, gonna walk straight through the frame. Bring my subject, tap to focus. Also getting a shot of it. And that'll do, I think. I mean, Going straight down the barrel, like straight in the middle, kind of works, but you're facing the sun. So it kind of is really like harsh. But the point I'm making is I don't want you guys to like look at the content I'm creating and then go and mimic it. Like there's no point mimicking content because it shows that you can do it, which is great, but it's about evolving and adapting. If you see an idea from someone, it's about doing the same idea, but just adapting that idea. And you might do this shot, you might go and do something that I've done and be like, yeah, that's sick. But the whole point of you doing that is just to prove that you could do the same as me. And every single one of you watching this video or listening to me talk absolute fucking shit now is, is you can all do the same. There's absolutely no reason to why you can't do the same. Quickly change settings. Ah, oh, that's lovely. What a great shot. Love this, uh, at night time this is great because you have these all lit up, which is nice. The lady was walking through the uh, through the tunnel, just just kind of grabbed her as she was walking through, <laughs> staring straight at me, kind of like, what are you doing? But uh, I think the point I'm getting at is 
just fucking go do it. Go and have fun. The two things I want you to take away from this video is number one is hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do upload. Firstly. Secondly, is if you're not out there taking photos, then you're not you're not doing what you you enjoy, right? And if you do enjoy taking photos, then that's that's your playground. Going out and shooting, even if you've never done street before, you should probably try it. If you've never done car photography or portraits or weddings or whatever, you should try it. Because you could be the best photographer in the world, but if you're not out there shooting, well, then you're not. We're gonna jump into the hashtag now, so if you don't wanna watch me go through the hashtag, I use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram, feel free to uh, click off now, but on your way out, make sure you throw a like on this video and uh, subscribe and all of that stuff, and comment down below, you know? Throw me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you enjoy, do you enjoy photography? That's the question of the day. Go down, let me know. Hashtag. Now the reason the hashtag is so important is because I get to look at the photo and the content that you guys are creating and in turn you inspire me to go out and create and do the thing that I enjoy so it's like a, a harmonious community. Wow, what a wanky sentence. Okay, next uh, next we're gonna go to recent. So we'll do a little scroll to refresh. It's 342,000 posts on the hashtag so come and get involved. First up, I love the color grade on that. This is really clean. Love the like kind of nice, Warm vibe. It's got a very summery vibe about this photo. Love the shot. Going down a little bit more, and we'll go with this fluffy fella. Look at that. Oh, his name's even Woolly Cuteness. Woolly Cuteness. What a great name. Woolly Cuteness with a fluffy guy on the front. Love that. Uh, we'll go down. We'll do a couple. Don't know how many we're gonna do. Don't wanna. Don't wanna be too long doing this. Uh, this one, great framing. Love the framing of St. Paul's in the background. The layers on this is insane. You're shooting through people. You've got the road, you've got the dude, you've got the barrier behind the dude, and then you've got the buildings, and then you've got St. Paul's. Like, that is, that is an insanely layered shot. Really, really, really fantastic set. Love that. Um, we'll go down. This is a great shot as well. This, this car here, is very often in this location. And if you know where that location is, it's next to Embankment Station here in London. If you know where that is, then uh, head down and, and have a look. So, is it Embankment Station? You might correct me on that, but I think it is. Anyway, great car, one of my favorite cars of all time. This is a really clean shot, really clean, really simple, but love it and it's effective. Let's do two more. That one next to it also, love the colors, love the vibe on that. And we'll do one more, we'll do a little scroll, because why not? And we'll go on, that there is a lovely vibe. Nice and warm, as opposed to normal city vibes, which are blue. Nice and warm. Love like the front of the light, it's a little bit hazy. Love that, great shot overall. If you do wanna get featured on this channel, you can use the hashtag Optical Wonder over on Instagram. If you're interested in some of the content that I just showed, head over to Instagram and check them out and see what, see what their profiles have to offer. Now, if you've lasted this long and you've subscribed and hit the notification bell and you've liked the video and you, maybe you've even commented at this point, who knows, a little bit of an update. Uh, myself and Roxanne are currently, we're currently filling out a visa for potentially moving country. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, all of the photos in today's video uh, were edited with my presets. There's a link in the description. Go and check it out. Um, anyone that ordered a hoodie in the past, uh, they're currently being printed and made up. Once Jack at Old Elton's has finished that, they'll be back with me and I'll send them over to you. So thank you very much for purchasing those merch. I'll do more merch in the future. Um, but yeah, very exciting year ahead. I hope you're all well. I hope you're picking up your camera and going out and enjoying. Uh, I've also got a Discord, by the way. There's a Discord where you can go and chat with like-minded creatives worldwide, might I add, and arrange meetups and stuff like that. Also in the description. With all that being said, create more, stress less, Get out there, go shoot and have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.